next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the feet. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, the beard has given way to the goatee, which means it must be fight night for the former two-division UFC champion, Daniel Cormier. How about that skin fade tonight? Looking good, champ. The barber always does a great job of getting DC fight ready. It's part of the fight day preparation. You look good, you feel good, so I get a haircut on fight day. When I get into the octagon, I want to give the fans a show. From the wrestling to the striking, there is no area of mixed martial arts where I feel like I am outmatched, and it shows with the fact that I have won two UFC championships and have about 10 gold belts at my house in Gilroy. The head coach of the Gilroy High School wrestling team. Shout out to Rosendo Sanchez, boxing too as well. DC's jab has really become an educated one in the, the latter part of his career here. And in terms of the MMA application of wrestling, there's nobody who does it better. Once again, a big spot for DC here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 218 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Iron. And now we produce his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 22 wins, three losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds, fighting out of San Jose, California. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. You ready? You ready? All right, here we go with round one. You are paid to tell us what you think is going to happen as an analyst. We have a striker, we have a grappler. Doesn't always play out that way. I'm expecting the grappler to try and go and make contact with his opponent. Right. If he can make contact, he can drag this fight to the mat. I expect the striker to try and maintain range with his jab, with his kicks, to make this a stand-up affair. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Big shot. Oh! What? Good job defensively to block the strike there by Cormier. All right, so one minute into the fight, and I'm not sure these fighters realize that we got three or four. Now the transition to the judo throw right into side control where he will have no shortage of options. A lot of top 
pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling could really be entertaining. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here, and if you're the opponent, you gotta intelligently defend or the referee's gonna stop. You gotta defend, but you can see him now start the game posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side underhook. This is a great position for a top fighter. So 31 total strikes have landed for Daniel Coyne. Big call for punch lands. Now we get back to range. And both guys really throwing with authority. And they said oh, that is as big a strike as he has landed thus far today. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough the opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Voicing its appreciation after that round, we had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. Are you ready? You ready? Second round here. Just misses there with the left. So at long last, he finally lands his first takedown after several failed attempts. You knew coming in that he was going to stay committed to the takedown, kept on trying, and finally got him to the ground. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Very nice leg kick there. Oh! Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Oh, he got him hurt bad. Back to the feet. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off him. Oh, straight right. Oh, looks like he's trying to set up the takedown. There's the attempt. Nice leg kick land. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, just misses. Massive, massive good land. And his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Now he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, big punch lands. Slips the shot. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? He lands a switch knee. Boy, tie block. All right, he engages that That's single a scramble tie right here. there. Beautiful transition. Awesome, nice boxing chops there from Danny Cormier. We talked so much about the wrestling. Don't sleep on those hands. Yeah, but it's because of the wrestling that allows these guys, especially a guy like DC, who's shorter, to manage distance, manage oh. Oh. oh, what a power strike there. He could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. 
He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or at his mama's house for Thanksgiving. Uh -huh. News hurt. Oh, nice job to prevent the takedown and scrap it to his feet. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Oh, just out of range with that right hand. And he landed the right hand there. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. And they separate. Oh, big elbow. Oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. Are you ready? You ready? Third round underway. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Cormier gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Oh, a huge block there. Just reached the midway point of the fight. Lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Oh, nice connection by him. Oh. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Birds over the top of his head. If you take a look like that, you are on wobbly legs. Oh, that's a nice strike. Whiffs on the right hand. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing it. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Point placement right underneath the elbow. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You got to be careful. All right, side control now. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. Oh, and he's back up again. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Effective punch there by Cormier. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. And that's how you defend the double leg, ladies and gentlemen. That oh, big knee. knee. That knee hurt him. Oh. And just like that, the fight is over. Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. Well, what a moment for this fighter here tonight. A massive knockout on the sport's biggest stage. Seminal moment for that fighter tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 27 seconds of the third round, we're playing the winner by knockout. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's